would be pressed to find anywhere else in the world more haunted than Louisiana. Every day visitors report terrifying tales of their time in the legendary state. Welcome back to Most Amazing, I'm your host Kennedy and today we are diving back again into the creepy and haunted past of Louisiana with part 2 of the top 10 terrifying places you should never visit. Starting us off at number 10, Lafitte Guest House. Once the mansion of a very rich man named Paul Gleese and his family, by the 20th century the building became a hotel and has been visited by countless guests throughout the years. But despite the many families that have lived in the mansion prior, it is not them who haunts the building, but a girl named Marie who died of yellow fever while staying in room 21 with her mother. Legend has it that her mother was so distraught by Marie's death that she would often revisit the hotel and stay in the very room where Marie lost her life. And years later she too died in room 21. The two ghosts haunt the grounds, terrifying visitors who stay in their room, perhaps hoping to convince them never to return. Those that have stayed report seeing Marie in the mirror in the middle of the night and that during the day she can be seen walking around the grounds, striking up a conversation with you before vanishing into thin air. And if that doesn't freak you out, the mother's gut wrenching sobs can also be heard at night and she too has been known to frighten the guests by turning the lights on and off or throwing objects around to get your attention. All those that enter the room claim to immediately feel a sense of despair and sorrow come over them and none that visit wish to return. Coming in at number 9, The Logan mansion. Built in 1897 for a beer distributor named Lafayette R. Logan, this mansion is believed to be haunted by the ghost of a girl named Theodora Hunt, allegedly the neighbor of Mr. Logan who one day leapt out of a third floor window in the attic and plummeted to her death. For years it has been regarded as one of the most haunted places in the state with many recent visitors claiming to see items moving on their own, doors mysteriously locking and unlocking locking themselves and the giggles of Theodora Hunt coming from the attic. While Theodora tends to be more mischievous than anything, there have been other visitors claiming to hear haunting voices and apparitions in the window where Theodora allegedly fell to her death, and some fear that she has company, and that is what most are truly afraid of. Next up at number 8, the Shreveport Municipal Auditorium. Built between 1926 to 1929, it originally served to commemorate the soldiers who served and lost their lives to World War. One. Nowadays, it's a historical performance and meeting venue and widely known to be riddled with ghosts and paranormal activity. Audience members, tour guides, and staff alike have all experienced something strange while spending time in the building, like doors opening and shutting all on their own, disembodied voices echoing throughout the halls, as well as strange, inexplicable sounds lurking in the shadows. Although not all the spirits are terrifying, one reportedly is often heard clapping and saying, I love Johnny Cash. There are far more creepy ghosts than friendly ones. Reportedly a girl is often seen running around the auditorium and no one knows just who she is or why she's there. And according to legends, during the Louisiana hayride a woman died in labor in the basement bathroom and some claim to have heard her moans as if she is still trying to deliver. Coming in at number 7, The Miller Cemetery. Located in Eunice, Louisiana, the Miller Cemetery has more than just buried bodies to creep out visitors. One ghost in particular is known to haunt the grounds and it's because of him that locals nicknamed it the Headless Cemetery. The Headless Ghost is known to frequent the area roaming around the graves at night and terrifying guests. But what's strange about this ghost is he's not headless for any horrific death, but allegedly because nobody remembers his face due to the unrecognizable picture on his tombstone, or at least that's the legend we've been told. If a headless ghost isn't enough to keep you away, many have also reported their cars suddenly not working or breaking down as soon as they are on the gravel road by the cemetery. So if you do dare enter, you might just be stranded and who knows what the headless ghost will do to you then. Next up at number 6, Forbing Tracks. 
strangely, or maybe not so strangely, I don't really know the statistics on this one, Miller Cemetery is not the only place in Louisiana where a headless ghost is known to roam. The Forbing Railroad tracks as well have terrifying ghosts that many claim to haunt the grounds at night. Legend has it, one night an old man was reportedly beheaded and his ghost now wanders the tracks holding a lantern and scaring all that see him. But that isn't all. Apparently a bunch of students also died here many many years ago after allegedly being hit by an oncoming train. Legend has it that if you park your car on the tracks and put flour on the back of it, it will mysteriously begin to move on its own, showing the handprints of the students in the flour on the back. But if I were you, I would not try it out for yourself, otherwise you too might be a ghost haunting the tracks of Forbing, Louisiana. Next up at number 5, Magnolia Plantation. I am sure it comes as no surprise that a plantation would be the breeding grounds for tortured spirits, considering how much horrifying and cruel activity occurred on their property during the early to mid 19th century. And Magnolia's plantation is among some of the most haunted. There are stories that a large portion of the activity at this plantation has to do with the countless voodoo curses that were placed on the original owners, but others say that the real horrors of the property are due to the dying room. The name was given to the haunted room as there have been countless tales of slaves and other residents taking their lives in it when they could no longer endure the agony of their existence. Visitors have reported hearing their screams from the dying room to this day as well as seeing the many spirits lurk around the property. As well, a union major is believed to have been poisoned in the same room and sometimes at night you can see his distorted face in the window of the very room he died in. Others claim to have heard chanting, slamming doors, flickering lights, and investigators have even captured audio recordings from several spirits and maybe most crazy is that motion sensors have been known to go off and on when no one was around. Listen, everyone that visits agrees they are not wanted there. Coming in at number 4, to Frere's house. Although now it's a cozy bed and breakfast, to Frere's has a dark history from its time as a plantation, and as such it comes with a bevy of ghost sightings that will chill you to the bone. The most well known legend of the property is that a woman named Amélie Camo once jumped into a well after losing her family to yellow fever. Her body was later buried on the property and some believe she still haunts the grounds weeping for the the family she lost. Others have reported a little girl living in the attic that may come and speak to you, usually asking you to viens voir, which means come see in French. And I'm afraid to know just what she may want you to come up and see. Originally there was a piano in the house that guests could play, but it had to be removed after countless complaints of it being played in the middle of the night and waking up guests. But of course, when the owner would go to check, no one would ever be playing it. So if you're feeling brave, you can go ahead and stay, but as for me, I think I will look for somewhere where a creepy girl ghost doesn't try to swoon me into following her up into an attic. Coming in at number 3, Central Louisiana State Hospital. Believed to be haunted by the near 3,000 patients that are buried on the grounds, this psychiatric facility from 1904 is actually still operating today, believe it or not. Reportedly haunted by all those that died on its grounds, many hospital staff claim to experience extremely strange and creepy activity nearly every single day. Many say they constantly hear slamming doors from one secured only moments prior, witnessing chairs being flipped over when no one was in the room, and even glasses shattering after being hucked across the room. On one occasion, a piece of flooring was discovered broken into pieces, almost as if exploded. Nothing had been broken moments earlier, and none of the staff could figure out how it broke, or rather, what had broken it. As it's still a fully functioning hospital, it's not open to visitors, but some some will walk past the building and swear they can hear strange voices or bright shining lights coming from inside the building. Coming in at number 2, Dauphine Orleans Hotel. The historic Dauphine Orleans Hotel opened somewhere around the 1770s and has remained one of the most well known buildings.
buildings in the French Quarter, but not for its hospitality, instead for its terrifying ghost sightings. Back in its heyday, there was a brothel in the French Quarter owned by a woman named May Bailey. And what was especially unique about Bailey's business was that she actually had a permit for it, making it completely legal. But despite its legality and popularity among many, May Bailey's sister, Millie, resented her for forcing her into the line of work. Hoping for a way out, Millie ended up meeting a Confederate soldier and the two got engaged. But sadly, on the morning of the wedding, her betrothed was shot dead. And so Millie remained trapped to her life of courtship. Today, visitors and staff have reported seeing her roam the halls in her wedding dress, sobbing and crying out for her lost love. But that is not the worst that's been witnessed. Employees say they routinely see glasses fall off shelves, doors unlatched after just being locked, and there is even one account of a bar stool levitating off the ground. But most terrifying of all are the legends of guests checking in and never leaving the hotel. So if I were you, I would pick somewhere else to stay for the night. And last up in our number one spot, Hotel Provincial. Branded as one of the most haunted places in New Orleans, the Hotel Provincial is located in the infamously haunted French Quarter. And just like every building around it, of course, it's horrifyingly haunted. Now, back in the day, there was a military hospital just down the street from the hotel. And one of the buildings used a medicinal herb garden for the hospital. Which seems a little strange, but does make sense once you find out the kind of spirits that haunt the hall. Today the hotel consists of five buildings and although ghosts are known to lurk in each, the most haunted building is believed to be number five. Guests of building number five have reported seeing insane things such as confederate soldiers covered in blood, moaning from agonizing pain, who miraculously disappear once the lights turn on. Others have reported apparitions of surgeons in the halls, and maybe most disturbing is the amount of guests that have seen strange pools of blood appear on their bedding or the floor that disappear just as fast as they came into view. One guest even reported that as the elevator door opened on the hotel's second floor, the hospital was entirely in view. So it seems as though the soldiers that died in the hospital down the street took a liking to the hotel and continue to haunt all the visitors who enter to this day. There you have it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.